How many of you have seen something like this before? These two brothers are building delivery robots and security drones. And they believe that they can make millions of naira from this. Bro, I thought you said my delivery have arrived. And I'm like, what is going on? But I don't see any dispatch right there. What is going on? Yes, I'm at the spot waiting. Oh my god, what is this? This is delivery. Wow. Did the robots just deliver my package to me? This is really impressive. Oh, how do I get it up? So I think it also has a camera in case of theft, right? So it's working with security operatives, no facial recognition. But what if somebody wears something to cover their face? What will happen? Use GPS to get the person. Okay. Dispatch riders, you're about to lose your job because this is the future. They can even program your house in a way that if you say light on, the light will automatically on. And if you say light off, it will automatically go off. Alexa, I'm about to shower. Alexa, turn off the shower. Turn on the bedroom light. Okay. Set the bedroom light to 100%. Okay. Turn on the closet light. Turn off the closet light. Alexa, I'm going to bed. They even helped a farmer to build a drone that flies around his farm, fertilizing his crop. They have been creating value in the society, but unfortunately, life is very difficult for them. Even after filming them yesterday, they didn't even have transport to go back home. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Ara Obed. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Delta States. I and my brother have been building AI and robotic solutions since we're, when we were kids. And it's so sad that we don't have any sponsorship. Hi, my name is Joshua Obed. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. We have been building this right from small, and we haven't get sponsorship yet. And we didn't feel good about it. It's okay. Stop. 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 I'm happy. Oh, come on. I'm happy. Remove it. A robot that does delivery. Who gave you guys this idea and how did this all begin? I watch a lot of American movies and see how high technology works there and decided to be the first person to bring it to Nigeria, Africa. What was the first project you guys created? Yeah, the first project we created was an airplane. So me and my brother we gather up money, we save up money to to go to the market and buy the materials needed. Most times, if we build them, our parents do scatter them, insult us. We lose a lot of friends. Don't back! The sort of that we don't know what we are doing. But me and my brother, we never give up. We keep, so most times, nights, we don't sleep. We draw, we join, we be creating things. Like that, like that, that's how we keep doing. Okay, the aeroplane you guys created, did it fly? Yes, it did, but it never come back. Never came back? Yes. Wow, that was really sad. So how did you guys feel? I uh, will feel very very bad then because we lost money. <laughs> but that did not stop you guys. Right. Did not stop us. What was the next project you guys worked on? The next project we did was a car. We created an RC car, a remote control car. Then actually that one worked, but from there we keep on and keep going like that. So what inspired you to start those um robots that does delivery? Do you think it will work here in Nigeria? Yeah, what inspired us to do delivery robots? We see that um Dispatch riders, it takes time. So this robot, if you're using robots, it don't waste time and it can come more it like solve problems to go to different kind of location and uh, considering the road in Nigeria. Yeah, the road in Nigeria no. Are you serious? Yes sir. Considering the security situation too. Yeah, it's safe. It's How fast is this? Uh this can run sixty MPH. Wow. 
How far can it go with the remote control? It can go two kilometers. Can this be increased? Yes. It can be increased to 30 kilometers out of telemetry. It's what? A telemetry. What's a telemetry? Okay, telemetry is more like the video um, vision and also a GCS. GCS is a big control, more like a laptop, but it's basically used for them. Oh, wow, this is impressive. So, with the materials that you guys are able to afford now, it can only run two kilometers. Yes, that's only what it can run right now. But do you think this is a commodity in Nigeria that people will be interested in? Surely, it could be inter- People will need it mostly for supermarkets and other delivery companies. Fast food? Yeah. Like Chicken Republic, KFC? Yeah, yeah. Every one of them will need it. Have you made any proposal to them? I didn't actually make proposal to them. The pro- You've not gone that far? No, I only sent one to the military. I want to automate their vehicle. Automate their vehicle as in how? Like, I saw the reason that they go to war, most people die, and I want it to be that vehicle go alone and do whatever it does and comes back and nobody dies. That. Oh, the motor will be programmed, the vehicle, the armored car will be programmed to go into the battlefield without any soldier in it. Yes, that. And it will do the battle. And come back safe. Nobody will die. So did they accept your proposal? No, they didn't accept it. And I requested a wife from my mom and my uncle. They told me that they saw that um, like a young person and maybe I will run away even though they give me money. What, did they even respond to you? They gave me a little project first and it's like something not serious. It's not even something important actually. What's the project about? A light extender. What does it do? It's just to shine lights in the garage and they already had that already. <laughs> this is life. I mean, who doesn't have a story like this that is successful today? We've all had rejections and disappointments. So, what has kept you going regardless of all these setbacks and disappointments? I feel one day I will be strong because even Elon Musk, because that's my like my role model, so I will be great like him and be greatest from Africa. You immediately mentioned Elon Musk, your brother started smiling. Why are you smiling? <laughs> because uh, he's my role model. I, I like him. I follow all his posts and what he does, so I can never give up. Are you guys in school? <laughs> we dropped out because of money. <laughs> oh, so sad. Where are you studying? Software engineer. Software engineer? Yes. What level were you? I was in my year one, second semester, I dropped out. Why? Because of finance? Yes. What does your dad do? Uh, he's a craft engineer. What of your mom? She's a pastor. What about you? What were you studying? I'm studying the same course, but the funds were not there. And we even tried to even raise funds. We told the school to wait because we had a little job we are doing so that we could give it to them but they didn't even listen to us even when we got the money when we got the money it was like very late but they didn't have a, accepted us that's how we dropped out which school was that lincoln university yeah lincoln university is it a private university yeah, it's a private university we, are, we actually got scholarship when we wrote an exam but the scholarship was not a full scholarship oh okay what level was that what level were you it's just a two-year course oh for software engineering yes sir Boy, well, that's really sad. Do you have hope of going back to school? I've, I have hope of going back to school, but the important, the most important thing is having more knowledge. School is great, but you still need to know more. A security drone, could you tell us about this? Yeah, there's the rise of um, insecurity in Nigeria, especially kidnapping of people. So we came up with a plan to use security drone, seamlessly connect them to cameras maybe street cameras and other cameras around so all of them work seamlessly and transmit the data to a database allowing security agents to be able to know what's around maybe forest and stuff but the security drones when they spot a threat because the threat it's half it has this image processing that if they are with weapons or stuff it's going to send it that okay this is what i saw then it will have to take a little action and that action is it might shut the threats down for like 30 minutes so it sends the alarm to bring a security agent to that place so that it'll get the person what do you mean that it will shut the threat down for 30 minutes okay there's a little technology we're working on to more like chemistry technology so it's just send some sh- light shockwave so that shockwave makes the person to sleep not that it's killing the person 
Okay, let's say somebody is trying to rob someone. So the drone is going to send shockwave to the person who is attacking the innocent person. Yes, that's what we wanted to do. And to do this while protecting the person who was being robbed. Yes. Wow, this is impressive. So this could tell you that someday drones will be flying around killing people. Who knows? You guys think so? That's if we allow robots to take over Earth, which we will not allow them. What's your take on AI? My take on AI is that we should become smarter than them by not allowing, like, let's say, for example, kids that are coming up, parents should not just allow them to to just play with AI. They should study more, know how to program more, so that they can actually build something to protect themselves when AI, the full AI comes. Because AI is with our AI. Somebody can build something dangerous to harm the society. Hmm. Impressive. Brothers and sisters, do you think that these guys will succeed in a country like Nigeria? And also, I'm really worried about their education. I don't know if there's a way we can actually support them to go back to school. If you're interested in these boys, please reach out to them. Who would like to call phone numbers? Okay, we'll call mine. 081 Zero eight four two five two eight two. Are you on WhatsApp? Yes, I'm on WhatsApp with that number. Okay, very very impressive. Let's give these guys a shot. I mean, they may not have perfected the vision that they have. You know, life is step by step. Time is what stops everything from happening at once. Even Lomox did not get it in the first try. I believe that if well supervised, they'll be able to bring to reality what they have envisioned considering all the things going on in the country the security situation i think that this guy should be given a shot some level of mentorship access to education access to materials to continue building and experimenting someday they might just get it and we could enjoy something they've been able to create all right guys um i think this should be the end of this very interview um i'm still moving around telling the stories of underrepresented people if you have a story you want me to cover send me an email or hit lucky udo's foundation whatsapp and if you want to learn how i create videos go to www.luckyudoacademy.com and i'm gonna teach you how to go viral how to edit videos like me and how to produce videos like me let's go bye to the viewers bye bye